What's going on, guys? <clears throat> it's your boy Terry by Reacts here, and we are back with another reaction, man. Death Note. Um, Death Note. Um, yes, today I had to upload this a bit later than usual. Um, uh, didn't come out on time because I didn't get to record it on time. Um, because I had some stuff I had to deal with yesterday. If you guys watch my hunter hunter reactions you would have seen my demeanor at the beginning of that video i had to deal with some other stuff so i couldn't record everything um last night so i'm recording this in the daytime so this will come out tonight of course hope you guys don't mind it's a little bit off schedule because i usually release these in the mornings my time so to each his own right so let's do this um last episode you um Got to see the cameras being set up in his house, um, how he's planning to avoid those cameras, even though it cost him to, I, I want to know where the hell light is getting this kind of money. That's what I want to know. Where is he getting this kind of money? Like that's, that's one of the things that puzzled me about the last episode is like, where is he getting this money? He doesn't work, <laughs> you know, um, I don't see him work. So where is he getting money that he can just throw away a, um, a, a video camera like that? Like, you know, it's not even a video camera. It's more like a, it's something you can watch live TV on. So that's, a, it, it was a crazy amount of money. I think it was like 200 and something dollars when you equate it from yen to, to American dollars. So that was, that was crazy, right? Oh, where's he getting this money? <laughs> Anyways, um, but it's interesting to see um, him and Light go up against each other, man. Um, the way how he took care of Ray, Ray Pember's fiance, that was pretty dope, too. Um, but I'm still not rooting for him because he's a murderer. Yeah, he's a murderer. Light is a murderer. No matter how you cut it, cookie cut it, whatever, he's going to too much extremes to get what he needs to get and... I, you know, L is still trying to figure things out. I think he has a hint of about light. I think he has a hint about light. Like you're way too pristine, too, too cut clean. Everything seems a bit too perfect. Like you have these things in place, like, you know, certain things that he does. And, you know, L is taking his time, like, um, picking up on things with him. So, um, yet to see what's going to happen and what's, what's going to happen for it. Is he going to leave light alone? Um, eliminate him as a suspect or he's going to continue to investigate him. So we'll see what happens. So we're going to jump into this, man. I hope you guys enjoy this reaction. I'll see you guys right back here for the review. All right, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Terabyte here. Well, we are back with another review of episode nine and ten of Death Note, man. And these two was a doozy. I mean, L revealing himself to Light, and man, I had a shock there for a while because I was like, "How the hell?" <laughs> His dad had a heart attack in episode ten. Um, the 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 um the thinking the the brain gymnastics the kung fu brains <laughs> of these two i mean the way how they play off of each other the tennis match everything about these two episodes was great man great development i did not expect l to go this far to figure out if light is kira you know, so it's, it's tantalizing. It's, it, it's juicy, you know, um, it's like, it's like you're here as the audience is like, it's him. <laughs> it's, he's right there, <laughs> you know, but you got to go along with the journey of L figuring it out or not figuring it out. It's just like, you know, as the audience, you got to sit there <laughs> Just like, man, we know it's him and we want to tell you so bad, but uh, 
been watching TV. <laughs> yeah, so it's great, man. Um, the way how they play off of each other is it, it's it's gonna be so hard for them to figure out each other and to because the thing about it is that light can't kill him, especially um especially of the fact that you know he can't kill him because now they're technically friends go to the same university it would be very su um suspect um um it would be very suspicious i should say of like to kill him now because you know they just met um he knows who l is um we all know he's using an alias is you know it's an alias this this new name that he uh, what is it hideki something and something in it um we all know it's all fake names so but that tennis match was intense though that tennis match wasn't i didn't even know that light light was a tennis champ because you know when when l mentioned it, it was like oh shit he, he's a baller out here but then they was like, oh, I checked out Light. Dude is a junior champion, what, two years in a row? That's, I mean, I would think, you know, it's interesting. It's very interesting that he's good at tennis. And not, they didn't, I, I'm glad they didn't introduce the generic thing for geniuses, which is chess. I'm glad that they didn't do that. I'm glad that they didn't go that route. Or the writer didn't go that route of having having him like be the classic nerd, you know what I'm saying? He's cool, he's charismatic, he's he he's got the ladies, you know what I'm saying? And he is super smart. So it that is not um that is not a common thing that writers do. Writers don't write whether they be anti-hero, protagonist, antagonist. They do not write um characters like that very often you get what i'm saying like you know like the lelouches um you don't really get those characters very often whether it be anime and tv show you don't get those because people do not relate well to those characters they don't they don't relate well you know we we like the story of of the the bully overcoming their circumstances and becoming famous and rich and all this other stuff we like people who start from the bottom and end up on top we don't necessarily relate to people who start at the top and still are at the top. You get what I'm saying? Like, we we don't necessarily um, relate to main protagonists that way, you know, very quickly. We can't relate that quickly, you know, because a lot of times you watch shows that are that have people like that. They usually fail very quickly because there's it's very hard for the audience to connect with that character so i'm glad that they go in this round because it makes sense you get what i'm saying i'm glad that they didn't he didn't go with chess being the sport you know tennis um is a more physical sport you know what i'm saying like so i i totally dig it i totally dig it. Or maybe i have not watched enough anime because maybe they do this often in anime um so i don't know but in my experience when it comes on to to tv shows you never really get that kind of character strong you know they have everything kind of character and you know what i'm saying plus the smarts it's always like you're su you're super good at fighting and you're dumb in anime you know for the main protag pr protagonist you don't really think things through much you know what i'm saying so it's like you get that trope of anime characters that people like to see them start from nothing to something um examples um Naruto, um, Luffy in One Piece, um, Goku in Dragon Ball, um, it's, you know, it's just a trope, you know what I'm saying, um, so it's, you know, it's a little bit played out sometimes, so I like to see something different, so here we go with Death Note here, you know, them tennis kind of being introduced as that sport, that, that quote-unquote chess match, you know what I'm saying, so I, I love it, man, I love it, so, um, these episodes were dope, 
Hope you guys enjoyed um, the review. Hope you guys are enjoying these reactions, man. I know you guys are because you leave tons of comments under these videos, man. So leave a like. And again, leave a comment. As if you have not subscribed, subscribe to the channel, man. There's more to come. Um, so I'll see you guys next time on Death Note. Peace.